Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today's video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to establish not only an LUFS level for one song, but I'm going to show you how to match that same level across multiple songs or an album or your entire catalog. So a lot of you are confused about how to do this, and it's actually not nearly as complicated as you would think, especially with some of the tools we have and some of the plugins I'm going to show you today. All the way from the start, I can feel it in my heart, like... All the way from the start. We've got three songs that were released on an EP recently, and these are the final mixes, but you're gonna notice if we pull up the WLM Plus and we just measure the LUFS integrated levels for these, they're drastically different, right? So let me just go ahead and I'm gonna play back small uh, parts of this and let's measure it. Stack it up, but what's it mean? Tensions upside down, obscene. So you empty dreams for a fee. Okay, so let's say that one's at minus 21. Go into the next one here. And finally, this last one. Vision, wasting time in my vision. I got a date with destiny, and you can save your opinions until my last breath is Christ to the death. My only argument. We've got a pretty large loudness unit difference in all those, right? So how do we get them to match? After we've done our mastering processing, and I have this just here as an example for you guys, but if we had them all in the session, we had done our mastering processing, when you get to the last uh, part of your chain, it's gonna be either a limiter or a maximizer, right? So with Ozone, we have a tool on the maximizer where we can actually learn a target LUFS measurement. Now, what would we want the target to be? If you still think that you should deliver everything to every streaming service at minus 14, you're gonna run into some frustration. So I'm gonna put a link to something that will explain more of that. I don't wanna confuse you guys today, especially if you're just coming to this video and you're not familiar with these levels. Um, where do we set the target? If we've already got a single or we've already got you know a song that's done from the project, and we've already you know, finished the master, we have everything sonically where we want it, we have the final levels where we want it to where it's gonna compete commercially, then we'll use that as our threshold to kind of base the rest of uh, the project on. So let's say this single was at minus 11, okay? Our final integrated LUFS measurement, when we went through it, it was at minus 11. So what I'll do, is I will go to the rest of the uh, the project here. Let's just open up Ozone on these other songs. We're gonna go to the Learn Threshold, turn that on. I'm gonna type in minus 11. I'm just gonna play it back for a little bit and let uh, Ozone do its thing. Can save your opinions until my last breath is Christ to the death, my only argument. But I'd rather be in agreement, no parliament. This isn't about who's got it all figured out. Feel like I know one day- th That one's got us at about minus six to get us to that minus 11 LUFS reading. I'm gonna bring that up just a little bit because we're not taking into account the uh, the quieter spaces here. Trust me, it's still gonna be very, very close here. So we'll set that and then let's go on to the next one here. Void is natural, a lost feeling. Okay, so that's got us pulled down to minus 12. And then finally, I'm gonna go to the one we were talking about just as an example. Since this is not actually set to minus 11, we'll set this one as well. Deep down, we got the faith, don't leave. Sets prices, I confide it, uninvited. At times, caught in mind, cold hearts, feeling lost, but you had me from the start. Okay, so that's at about minus 10. So then we'll turn that off. Now let's pull up WLM Plus, and not only do I want you to watch the LUFS, but just listen in terms of the consistency and the cohesive sound across these tracks now. Famous with clever punchlines, no real vision. Love is also here, I cannot I could save your opinions until my last breath is Christ to the death. Let me know I'm not alone. I've tried it on my own. 
utilizing LUFS in this way will create a lot of consistency, a lot more cohesive sound for your project in terms of master levels because we're factoring in perceived loudness, not just loudness. So I hope this is helpful for you guys trying to establish a certain LUFS integrated reading for your song and then matching it across a project. If you have any questions about what we covered here in Ozone or in WLM Plus or otherwise in mastering or just about LUFS in general, love to hear from you guys. Put it in the comment below. If you learned anything in the video, please like, subscribe, and consider sharing. Also hit that notification bell. I've been told that notifications aren't happening for a lot of people. Look forward to hearing from you. We'll talk to you soon.